Ready. We should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body. You live by my rules. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it so I can break it again. You are a loser. Eddie Brock, I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Please, why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Man. I am vengeful one. Oh shit! Oh, where you going? That is a red one! You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody! Promise! I promise! Oh yeah! Betty, you feel like home to me. Like family. Oh, wow. You could just say, I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so sorry. Not sorry! This dude needs some serious couples counseling. Hi there, I'm Andy Serkis, director of Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and I am so excited to share with you an exclusive look on the Apple TV app. Enjoy. Three, two, one. Action! I've been making this directing journey for a decade. Cut. Right. To enter into this level of fan-based, really adored franchise world, it's a big responsibility. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. I miss you so much. It very much felt it was in my wheelhouse. Creating characters using CG is obviously something that I've been involved with for the last two decades now. I've been doing this show my whole life. I've been doing this show my whole life. I've spent a considerable amount of my life playing a character with two sides to his personality, and there's common ground there. We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. The digital characters have got to seriously act. They've got to be totally believable. I wanted to find a physical vocabulary for Carnage that was entirely different to Venom. Everything was always underpinned by reality and a truth. I think it's the perfect movie in a way because it's very celebratory of what cinema can do.